Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Visio. In this module, I want to have a look at how you can create a PERT diagram inside a cross-functional flowchart diagram. So on the screen, you can see I've already got a completed one. So I've got my swim lanes and then I've got the PERT diagram shapes sitting inside the various swim lines. So I want to recreate this from scratch. So I'm just going to do Control N for new. Now I've only got um, two swim lanes there and I haven't got the PERT stencil. So first of all, I need to get that. So it's under schedule and then PERT chart shape. So it brings that in. So in terms of lanes, let's say um, I want five. So if I go one, two, three more. I'm just going to call this develop, develop product. And then this is um, development. This is going to be design. This is going to be testing. And obviously you'll know what you need to put for this. This is going to be risk. And this is going to be marketing. So those are my swim lanes. Now, I'll just come down a little bit so you can see this. In fact, I'll get rid of this shape data. You don't need that on this. So if you need this to go longer, you can obviously make the page longer. Come onto a second page, which uh, I might do. Or you can insert a page and duplicate this page, duplicate this page before you start doing anything. So then page two is the same as page one. And I'll just leave it like that for now. So what do I want to do? I want to start using my pert shape. So first one is going to be there. I'll just zoom that in a little bit so you can see it. Now the temptation is to double click in here and type away but basically you just need to type straight away you've got the options there of a schedule start um what's the date is today's date the 23rd and let's say it's just going to be two days so 25th 22 2021 20, and then at later date you can come in and fill the actual start and finish dates and uh, there is a different style of pert box i'll just show you that one i'm not going to use that one where you can work out the slack and you've got early start late start and so on just leave that there so i'm going to use pert 2 and then i'm dragging that on but i, I could if i take that one off i could hover over this and use this little tool and then you've got pert 1 pert 2 coming out there so i'll just do, do that one so this next task is going to be go no go status and I won't bother filling the dates in on that one. So that's um, the first swim line. I want those two things to go on there. And then what you can do if I go back to home, you can actually color these two. And if I hold my shift key down, I can click on those two and give them a specific color so it stands out a bit more. Now, what I want to do is come down to the next swim lane and do another one for design. And I'm just going to put it underneath there. Call this one design. I'm not going to fill the dates in, but obviously you would need to fill the dates in. Um, so I could have used this again, come down. But the problem with this is it puts it where it thinks. So if, if I just move this out of the way, let's see what happens. Okay, it's going to do straight below. So I could have used that one. And then you'll have the line connecting straight away. So now the way I've done it, I'm going to have to add a line connector in there, but it should snap into place and it does. So design and then coming out of this side, another PERT2 box, the connector's already there. So we're going to design it and then um, build prototype. And then coming down onto the next swim lane, which is testing, we're going to come out there 
we'll do a two. This is going to be called testing. And then coming out on the right side, I want another one, um, which is going to be called analysis. And you can see how this builds up very quickly. And again, I'm just going to change the colors on these two so they are not all blue. Pick a different color at the top there, go for green, and then click off that. And then come down, um, put two again. This one is risk, so this is going to be risk. And then the one out of the right, I picked the wrong one there. Just undo, control Z, put two I want. Yep, this is going to be analysis as well. In fact, I'll call that risk analysis, so it's not the same as the other one. Now you notice we've come onto a second page here. So if I keep going like this, we are going onto a second page, but that's okay. I can just extend this. And then we're coming down another one. And what I want to do on this one, I'll go back to the end so you can see what this one is marketing. So now we're going to market the product. Market product. And coming out, one last thing is going to be selling. And in fact, I will have another thing after that, which is review project. Project, not product. So review product, uh, project. So you've got the best of both worlds here. You've got your swim lanes and you've got your PERT diagram shapes inside the swim lane. So I'll just change the color on that one again. Um, I think I've got a, okay, I missed out that one for some reason. So just to, just to make it stand out a little more. Now, obviously, if you didn't want it to come onto this second page, what you'd have to do is use what's called an off-page reference. If I go back to this this stencil, basic flow chart shapes, you've got this off-page reference which you could use. So, before I got to this stage. Could have brought this on there, so I'll just sit it the in there. So this is going to go to a new page, but I could get it to go onto page two because that's already there. Page two, I'll click OK to that, and then you have to position this in some place out of the way. And basically, you can just click back and forward between these two. Just zoom that in a bit back and forward between these two by just double clicking on them. And then you've got the same swim lines as before, because we did that, if you remember, we just, before we started with any shapes, we selected duplicate page. And if you think you're gonna go that way, and you're gonna have lots of different pages, you wanna set this up first, uh, or if you're gonna print this off on maybe an A3 printer, you've got um, this option where it just goes it just keep just keep making the page longer uh, as much as you need you just pull it wider go to the second third page and then i think that's easier to look at but you still have to stick the paper together if you are if you've only got an a4 printer so an a3 printer or a bigger printer or a plotter whatever it will print this all on one page if you've got that sort of system that's the one to use i'll just get rid of these i don't want them and if you don't want this second page, which I now don't need, I can just right click on that page two and delete the page. So basically that is all I want to look at in this little module. So that is basically a flowchart, cross-functional flowchart with the PERT shapes or PERT analysis shapes in the swim lines. So hopefully that's been of use to you and I will see you in the next session. Thank you for your time.